In this video, we're going to learn about proportions with angle bisectors. First, let's briefly review what it means to be an angle bisector. So if we start out with an angle, an angle bisector is a ray or a line that cuts the angle exactly in half so that two congruent angles are created. So if that line right here creates two angles which are congruent, then it is called an angle bisector. So what we're going to be focusing on here is a situation where we have a triangle and an angle bisector is drawn through one of the angles. So when that happens, what is created are four different segments. One, two, three, four. And it will always be the case that there will be a proportional relationship between these segments. So that relationship is this. If these segments are A, B, C, and D, it will always be the case that A over B will be the same ratio as D over C. Notice that A and D each came from the same part of the triangle and same with B and C. And I started with A on my left ratio and started with D on my right ratio. So this is useful if you're trying to solve for a missing segment in a situation like this. So let's look at an example to see how you'd actually apply this. So in this triangle, we have one of the angles has been bisected by this ray. So a proportional relationship exists. That is, 4 over 2 has to be the same ratio as x over 5. And you could solve this by cross multiplying. In this case, you could actually figure it out probably without doing that. Notice that the ratio of 4 over 2 is just 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So for x, you have to think about what number divided by 5 will give us an answer of 2, and that would be 10. So x must equal 10 in order to be in the same ratio as the 4 over 2. So 4 over 2 is 10, or sorry, 4 over 2 is 2. 10 over 5 is also 2. So this is how you can use angle bisectors and proportions to help you solve for missing segments in a triangle.